Well, new charges coming down in an emotional case of a heartbroken father taking justice into his own hands. This Texas dad accused of shooting and killing a drunk driver just moments after he watched that man run down and kill his two young sons just steps from their home. Trace Gallagher has the story live in our West Coast newsroom. Trace? Happened just outside of Houston, Megan. 31-year-old David Barajas and his 11 and 12-year-old sons were actually pushing their broken down pickup truck toward their home, which was about 100 yards away. The boy's mom and younger siblings were still inside the truck. Just then, a Chevy Malibu driven by 20-year-old Jose Banda crashed into the truck, killing those boys. The 12-year-old, it was critically injuring the 11-year-old, but he later died at the hospital. Witnesses say the dad then ran to the home and came back to the scene. And when police showed up, the driver of the Chevy Malibu, who was legally drunk, had a gunshot wound to the head. Here's the sheriff. When we have witness statements that say that we have um, David Barajas leaving the scene, going back toward his residence, and then returning a few minutes later, and he was the only person standing around Jose Banda's vehicle when the gunshot was fired. Only person standing around, but they still have not found the gun. But they did find a holster and ammunition inside the dad's house. They're now waiting for a gun residue test to see if dad actually fired a gun. But he is being charged with murder and being held on $450,000 bail. The family of the dead drunk driver says the car crash was an accident. What happened after was murder, and they believe the dad should be punished to the full extent of the law. Megan. All right, Trace, thank you.